So here's where the magic finally happens. And before we officially get started, we wanted to share some things with you that might help in case your project isn't quite working yet. First, remember we shared that when you clamp your wire to the other wire, remember, it can't be touching the rubber. It's gotta be touching the end of the metal, as shown here. Next, speaking of those wires, friends, they can be pretty fragile, and sometimes they even get ripped off the solar panel, which they're connected to. If that does happen, it's not ideal, but it's also not the end of the world. Flip that solar panel over and you're going to see a silver marking. That's still metal, friends, and if you put your clamp right there, the electric current is still going to make it to the LED. Here's a close-up, and feel free to rewind and come back to this picture and pause at any time. This next part still happens to the best of us. Every once in a while, we still forget to put the LED in its proper orientation. If it's not working and you think everything else is correct, try flipping it around and connecting the wires to a different side of it. And finally, every once in a blue moon, those fragile LEDs do get broken. If you think everything is 100% correct, try replacing your LED. You may have a faulty one. Now let's have some fun. This flashlight is going to be pretty handy for the rest of this experiment. And in case you didn't know, this black button on the back turns it on and off. You should already notice the light glowing a little bit brighter since the flashlight is typically a little bit more intense than a normal light in a room. We also wanted to introduce you to this sheet and get you comfortable with it because it will be guiding a lot of our experiments for the rest of this project. All we're doing is giving you a place to reflect and make some observations about some of these upcoming experiments. The first being we want you to actually leave the classroom and go outside and see if you can notice the actual sunlight making a difference in the solar panel versus the light in the room. Make sure the panel is not hidden under any shade. The short versus the long portion of this is asking us to put the flashlight up nice and close to the solar panel and then backing it away and noticing the difference between the two scenarios. And the angled part is trying to simulate the sun rising and setting and everything in between when it's hitting the solar panel at different angles. Try running through the different angles going both ways on the solar panels. Maybe one will be better than the other and you can jot that down on your activity guide. What's another variable that affects solar panels in real life? Well, what if clouds or a foggy day comes along? See if you can find a material that dims the light of the flashlight a little bit and see how it affects the output intensity of the LED. And how about something else that might not initially come to mind when you're thinking about solar panels, the temperature. If you have any equipment that you think would work better, feel free to use it, but we try blowing some hot or warm air and some cold air on it and see what effect that produced. Now imagine our same single solar panel had to produce the power to another home or another business. Attach another LED and see what type of effect that has. Solar panels get dirty, friends, from dust, from metal corroding on them. And sometimes our famous flying friends even pay them a visit. And we joke about that, but it is something that engineers need to take into account. So anyways, see how a dirty solar panel affects its performance. Our last trial actually deals with an interesting concept, and it's the fact that power actually gets lost the longer that it has to travel through a wire. Connect a few extra wires and see if you can actually see that concept played out. Does the light look a little bit darker the longer the wires are? Finally, like we mentioned earlier, we like to have some fun. If you want to be more elaborate and creative and build a more sophisticated, cool looking house than the normal cube, go for it. We encourage that. And you could even move the solar panel around like we did on our slanted roof to simulate a real solar panel on a real roof. And if you still want to have some fun or challenge yourself further, try wiring the wires underneath the house instead of going above through the power lines.